The Member of Parliament for South West St. Catherine, Everald Warmington, says envy is at the heart of the recent criticism of Prime Minister Andrew Holness by Opposition Senator Peter Bunting. Mr. Bunting was quoted in the media earlier this week describing the Prime Minister as a self-serving coward. This after Mr. Holness declared that no Jamaican Prime Minister or leader of the opposition should be a dual citizen. This in light of confrontation from opposition leader Mark Golding that he is indeed a dual Jamaican-British citizen. According to Mr. Warmington, Senator Bunting regards himself too highly. Whenever I hear Bunting speak about the government and prime minister, his hatred, envy and bad mind overwhelms anything he says. Bunting is an entitled narcissist, overrates himself. He has no credibility to address the Prime Minister who has bravely led Jamaica through COVID-19, led our nation to a spectacular economic recovery, and is boldly leading the infrastructure advancements of Jamaica, while at the same time having the courage to take on constitutional reform matters, which the PMP only talked about but were never serious about implementing. Mr. Warmington says Senator Bunting is attempting to divert attention away from the serious questions surrounding Mark Golding's status as a dual citizen. The Prime Minister has nothing to do with the actions of the British citizen Mark Golding, which has rightly generated public concern. Mark Golding, the British leader of the Jamaica opposition, chose to, one, retain his British citizenship, two, acquire a British passport, three, possibly renew his British passport as an adult, four, acquire a British visa to travel to the United Kingdom while still being a British citizen, five, possibly travel on a British visa to the United Kingdom while being a British citizen, five, blocking Jamaica's move towards a republic which, while continuing to be a subject of the very same monarch from which Jamaica is trying to withdraw. Not seeing the disrespect to the Jamaican people and Jamaican sovereignty by holding on to the privileges, protection, and personal insurance afforded by allegiance to another country while seeking to run the affairs of Jamaicans. It is the British leader of the Jamaican opposition who is acting cowardly in not being confident in the future of Jamaica to dedicate himself only to Jamaica. Bunting's vitriol should be directed to his own British party leader. Everald Warmington 